Why do I make things complicated? Why do I lose all my control? Oh, oh. I keep on letting my bad habits make us both come crashing to the floor. Something to save us, close but we're strangers. Feel like we're far apart. Hi guys, I thought I would start out this video with what I had for breakfast because I've really been loving this protein shake and it's very simple to make. First off, I'm using about 150 ml of unsweetened almond milk and then I'm gonna add in a scoop of protein powder and I'm using chocolate, so this is about 25 grams of protein powder. Then I'm adding about two pitted medjool dates in and this makes it so sweet. Then you add in a big um, tablespoon of Greek yogurt, but I just realized I'm really running out of it, so I need to buy more. Then I'm adding in a big tablespoon of almond butter. Um, the recipe actually called for peanut butter, so you could use that as well, but it tastes really nice with almond butter. And then I'm also adding in some ice just to make it really nice and cool. And then I'm just gonna stick that onto my Nutri Ninja just to blend it all together. And that is pretty much it. This is a really sweet, like delicious breakfast, and I've really been enjoying having it. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and to another get it all done video. This morning, first thing, Fraser had a football match, so we went to that from about nine to 11. So that's actually already taken up quite a bit of the day. Um, so I didn't actually do my workout first thing this morning. I'm trying to work out again. Now that my fractured foot has got the all clear, I feel like there's no excuse and I'm definitely getting, I've got some extra pounds on. So I have started to do the little Joe Wicks workouts. I really like him. I just like that they're quick hit routines and that when I'm doing them like along with him, he seems to really struggle as well. It just makes me feel better um, about the fact that I'm really struggling. So I'm gonna do one of those now that we're back from football. I might do it outside because again, it's really hot and muggy today um, where we live. So I'm gonna just do that now and then the kids can have lunch. Maybe I'll have a shower and then we can get on with the day. <laughs> workout is done and it was a really tough one it was only 25 minutes but I'm really really sweaty now so I'm gonna have a shower and then I'm gonna eat lunch and I'm having like a bagel with smoked salmon and eggs I feel like because I've done the workout I can have that after I had my shower, I noticed that the bed wasn't actually completely made. So I'm just gonna quickly tidy our room up. Just finish making the bed. I don't know what happened there. Put the iron away and just have a general tidy up before going downstairs and making lunch. And I'll show you how to make this. This is also a Joe Wicks um, recipe. I got his book. So first off, I'm just putting a thin bagel into the toaster. Then I'm just gonna beat up two eggs Eggs. The recipe actually calls for two eggs and then two egg whites, but the two is enough for me. Then I'm just gonna add in a little bit of salt and pepper, 
beat it all up and then put it into the frying pan with a tiny bit of fry light. And then I'm just going to keep an eye on it and kind of move it around and just scramble it while I'm also putting some spinach into the microwave. So I'm just adding in a huge handful of spinach into a bowl. You can also add in a little bit of water and then cover it, zap it for one minute and then you have like nicely wilted spinach. So I'm just going to put the spinach on top of the bagel and then put the smoked salmon on top of the spinach and then just add the egg on top. And that is my lunch. This is so delicious and it is really, really filling. Whenever I have this, I feel like I don't snack or anything between meals. So now I thought I would show you our meal plan for the week and our grocery haul as well. I know that personally, I love seeing what other people buy um, to eat during the week, especially as a family. So I've written my little meal plan over here on this little printable. I'll link it down below. You can just print it off from my website. So on Monday for dinner, Matt and I will be having an aubergine parmesan and the kids are having chicken escalops with homemade chips. I've literally just bought an air fryer and it makes the most amazing chips. So I'm going to make them in there just by chopping up um, potatoes and sticking them in there. On Tuesday, all of us will be having salmon, rice and peas, but I make a really yummy soy sauce, um, like sauce to go on the salmon. Then on Wednesday, Matt and I are having our absolute favorite, which we have pretty much every week. We're having veggie chili, and then the boys are having a pizza, um, English muffins. It's like their favorite dinner, so simple as well. And then on Thursday, we're still having veggie chili because we make a big batch of it, and the boys are gonna be having corn nuggets. Then on Friday, we're having a cheesy chorizo chicken. On Saturday, we're having a halloumi korma, which is really yummy. You can have it with rice. And then on Sunday, we're having more of the halloumi korma because we make a lot of it. And then on Sunday, I might make the boys a tuna pasta bake, which is really, really simple. I just didn't know if they would also want the korma again on another night. Um, so yeah, that is the plan. And then I'll show you the grocery haul that we did. So in terms of fruit, we have strawberries, raspberries, blueberries, apples. We've got Matt's five red grapefruits that he has every day. We've got two big things of Greek yogurt. I've got really into having a bowl of Greek yogurt with this homemade um, granola that I made. It's like a pecan granola. I made two big things of it, which should last me for three weeks. You basically just sprinkle it on top of the yogurt. Um, then I've got some spinach, some broccoli. I've got the two aubergines for our um, aubergine parmesan. Also have mozzarella and the chopped tomatoes in that, and it's so yummy, and it's also a nice, like, vegetarian option. Then we have loads of these yogurts that Caleb and Jackson love. They have, like, one a day, so we have quite a few of them. Then we've got the English muffins for the English muffins pizzas. We have everything else that we need for that one. This here is for the chili. We've got a lime, some onions, and some coriander, and we've then got the rest of the ingredients. Then I've got some turkey mince because I'm going to be making some turkey mince meatballs for lunches. I've got some flaxseed for Matt's pancakes. We've got some breadsticks for snacks with hummus. Macaroni for mac and cheese for Jack's cheese. We've got pine nuts, mozzarella, and then some chicken here. And that is for the cheesy chicken chorizo dish on Friday. Then we've got four salmon fillets for our salmon on Tuesday night. Then this halloumi and korma paste, we got like lots of it because we make it all the time, um, is for that um, korma lentil halloumi dish, which is so delicious. And the mango chutney is also for that. Then I've got some refried beans and wraps for the boys' quesadillas. I've also got some sweet potatoes because I really wanted to try sweet potato chips in the air fryer. Then I've got the totally vegan corn nuggets for the boys one night. We've got these little baked crinklies that the boys really like for snacks. We've got some jumbo oats to make things like granola or overnight oats. We've got some eggs. We've got this. This has become like a weekend treat. The boys just love these cinnamon rolls. We've got some ham for lunches, some marshmallows because the boys like this and strawberries with their fondue set. And then we've got two packs of smoothies and we've basically just been sticking these into the freezer to make ice lollies. 
Yeah, so that is all the food that we've got this week along with our meal plan. In total, we spent £100, which is quite normal for us unless we need some cleaning products, which always bumps it up a bit. But in total, I think that's not too bad considering there are five of us and we're eating almost every meal at home. So yeah. Okay, so once all the food got put away, we took the kids to the park and now they're in bed and I am gonna tackle our front living room. Every now and then it gets completely out of control. I feel like this is the most unused room in our house and therefore we dump boxes in there. There's also two bags of clothes to go to the charity shop. So I'm actually gonna go and stick them into my car to make sure that I just drop them off at the charity shop. There's shoes everywhere books everywhere. My desk has just got really messy where I'm using it, but the kids are also using it. So I'm just generally going to give it all a tidy up, sort the couch out and vacuum and mop in this room. So as you can see, I'm using my trusty spray mop to clean the floors. I still love this thing. There's a little lever on the handle. Um, so basically you can pull that while you're cleaning and then the floor cleaner and the water solution will just spray out and then you can mop it and I think it cleans really well. Um, so now, once I've mopped all the floors, I'm actually gonna tackle my desk area. At the beginning of lockdown, I did a big declutter of my desk and I really cleared out so much stuff that I didn't need anymore but it generally builds up because um, all of us use it the boys like to sit here and game sometimes I use it for work and we also just tend to just dump things on top of the desk as well so I've got a plastic bag because I know there's going to be things that I'll want to get rid of and I'm just going to go through this really random little basket on top of the desk which has now just got like headphones in it um, and just like makeup and string and just random things in it so I'm going to clear that out because it's actually supposed to be where I put our little um, Microsoft Surface Pro so now it can go in there and it looks a bit tidier and then I'm also going to clear out the two top drawers of my desk there are just so many things that the kids leave out that I just tend to shove in there you can see there's an iPad um, loads of notebooks um, still I've got like I'm finding things from homeschooling and stuff 
off. So I'm going to give it a good clear out and then it looks nice and clean. And once the floor has dried, I'm going to put the rug back out. And then I'm also going to carry on um, organizing my desk. I'm going to do our pen pot because loads of the kids markers have like ended up in there. And then I'm also going to do the top drawer on the left hand side as well. So as you just saw, I ended up sorting out our sideboard, which is a job I've been meaning to do for ages. And it actually only took me about 10 minutes to clean and organize it. So now onto the shoe cupboard. Every like few months, it ends up looking like this. I love this shoe cupboard and I love how it's hidden under our stairs and it just slides out. Um, but you know, with five people, we have a lot of shoes. So every now and then I need to just take every pair of shoes out vacuum and clean the drawer itself and then put back the shoes that they're actually wearing at the moment. They tend to grow out of shoes so quickly. Some of these shoes need to probably have a wash and then some of them need to go back upstairs into our rooms if the kids aren't using them very much. Um, but by the end of this, it looks so much nicer. Um, you can probably, well, I don't know if you can see, but Fraser's feet are actually nearly my size as well. I'm a size five and he is currently a size four. And we have the same vans and I keep picking up the wrong ones and trying to put them on. But anyway, that is all that I'm going to do today in terms of cleaning and organizing. I really hope you enjoyed this video and it's given you some motivation to clean. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.